Hello guys, welcome everyone. So today we are not having a podcast, but we are having a different segment channel. So on this segment channel, which is known by Real Talk, so in which we would like to call all the alumni or all the people who have been associated with us and basically have studied our course or basically have different journey, right? So we would like to have our first guest on our episode today. Mr. Shalin sir, hi Shalin sir, how are you? Oh hi, hi Abhi, I'm very hi. good. Yeah, how are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. So to the audience, as you would want to know, who is Shalin sir? So Shalin sir is basically he is a businessman. He has his own business and he is an entrepreneur also, and he loves to learn. And why I'm telling this word loves to learn? You will get to know when he gives his introduction to you all. So over to you, Shalin sir. Please introduce yourself to the audience, and audience would like to know why did I say that you love to learn? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Abhit. Well, it all started in the year nineteen ninety five when I got enrolled in B Tech Electronics and Communication in Royal Khan University, Bareilly, and uh, I was the gold medalist at my time in when I passed out in nineteen ninety nine in electronics and telecommunication. I was always a good student, and I got admitted to IIT Bombay for technology management in the same year, 1999. I went there, but I dropped out because you see, the life is real. The way it stays you in the pace. I came back to my hometown, joined my family business, and the thing happened. Time ran by. But I was always connected to technology in the one form or the other. Like I always wanted to embrace technology into my business as well. I was aware of the technological revolutions which were hitting hard the world. The rise of different companies, the big mm-hmm. big companies, because at other times internet was just coming up. Mm-hmm. Like it was in in its very nadir phase. It was a child that time. Before it, like it was used only in the government organizations Correct. or universities. Correct. But then, in two thousand one or two thousand two, internet penetrated in our lives like anything, like everything. Like when we used to learn, when we used to study, we had to go to the colleges. But now, with the use of internet, mm-hmm. I could do so many things online. And somehow, I felt that this technology is going even to the laggards now. Those who were not supposed to use it, they were forced to, you know, use it. So that kind of technology, I was really, you know, exhilarated by it. And in fact, one of my passion of music, I also did through it. I, uh, you know, I learned guitar, acoustic guitar, mm-hmm. only through YouTube and all the channels. Mm-hmm. And now I'm a good guitarist without yeah, playing excellent. anywhere. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so nice. That way, like, yeah. we'll, we'll, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure that the audience would love to hear your guitar skills also. But we'll get, we'll get yeah, there. Sure, we'll sure, get I there, sir. But what I really wanted you to tell them: Why do we say that there is no age to learn? And I think you are the best example to tell that. Well, I was never out of touch from technology, as, yeah. as I said. And we all know that the technology drives the world today. Right. With the intelligent use, now I'm coming to the point that now with the intelligent use of AI and ML, mm-hmm. we are going to give the direction to many different businesses. Yeah. We are on the verge of it. Right. You know, today every business aspect is going towards automation. It is the need of time. Like you know, I can use AI and ML for the expansion of my business as well. Right. Top line companies like Amazon or uh, you say Facebook or Google, they have integrated AI and ML into their software as well, and that has given them the extraordinary results and the customer satisfaction. The level of customer satisfaction is very high. I wanted to be a part of this technological revolution in some or the other way. Be it you know, so that's why like my brother is in California in finance actually. He also urged me to come. To start a course so that you know I can refine my skills, which I had been going through. So, so fine. I understood your point, but okay, no problem. I'll I'll, I'll tell from my own that to all the audience also that why was I saying that sir is the best example to tell that why there is no age to learn because I suppose and there is no age to learn. Actually, yeah. there is no age to learn. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I I I'll just complete that. These are these are so young. These technologies that are times. We don't. We didn't used to have these technologies. Correct. So actually, I'm very young to 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 learn these technologies. Correct. <laughs> Correct, sir. Correct, sir. So, uh, sir, can you just tell uh, if you are comfortable? What business uh, are you doing, or what business are you owning? Well, right? well, well, well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm owning a coal trading business. Right? Okay. Trading coal. 
Mm-hmm. And I supply it to many different industries, mm-hmm. many different brick kilns, you know, the steel industry. And okay. We have, uh, yeah. Understood, understood. That sort of business, yeah. Mm-hmm. Understood. So, sir, why this 23 years of gap or what were you thinking in this 23 years? Because personally, if you tell me, if I had a such a big gap, I wouldn't have gone back to studying. So what motivated you or what 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 was that one thought? Was it family or was it your uh, colleague's success? Or what was that one thing which motivated you or drived you that nay, that to, now is the time I want to go back to the technology or I want to learn new things? Well, you see, when uh, you're in the world of data now, huh. you know, you're bombarded with data. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. M- many, you know, I think 84 unicorns are there right. now in India. Yeah. Let's say. yeah. Yeah. Uh, earlier they used to be 106 or 107. Now they right. used to be 84. Right. Because the because the standards are set differently now. Correct. See, again, I would reiterate that this technological revolution, if anyone has the grit and passion, you know, maybe that grit and passion can be in the dip- any field. But now this is the time of technology because this technology can be integrated into any segment of your work, any Correct. any sort of because data because data is being generated Correct. in terabytes, mm-hmm. you know, on the daily basis. Mm-hmm. Now it's the time to actually get hold of the data, automate it, or use the algorithms, and so that you can you know decide the strategies of the companies in a new way in a new fashion. Correct. Because earlier we used to have very uh, low computing skills, uh, lo- low computing computers, right. and very less data was generated. Right. Now the scenario is different altogether. I'll give you an example. Only Flipkart produces two terabytes of data daily. So that is a significant amount of data. So now how to decide the facts, how to describe the patterns, how to identify the trends, mm-hmm. how to test your hypothesis. Is going is going to be a game changer. It's going to be because to companies to remain competitive in the market and have the best user experience or the customer experience, every company will have to move into this segment or integrated this AI and ML into their software. You rightly said, right, sir. So I got it that that date. Yeah, you you are absolutely right that today in today's world that data is one thing which everyone needs to understand and everyone needs to get their hands on until the time you don't get your hands dirty you won't understand how to basically operate with these datas which are being transmitted in such a high speed that is absolutely right sir so sir Mm -hmm. why or how did you get to iot academy because as there are lots of lots of uh, companies which are basically educating you and many individuals on data or any technology. So why did you choose IoT Academy? And the follow-up question which I want to ask you is that, how is your experience with after yeah, you joined yeah. IoT Academy? Actually, when I uh, when I was in a mood to actually start a course, mm-hmm. I was searching through internet, many, 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 you know, many companies, the delivery partners of many educational institutes came up. Yeah. yeah. And when I looked up at this course of IoT Academy, mm-hmm. Which is coincidentally run by my roommate of engineering <laughs> time, Ashley yeah. Singh Sisodia. Yeah. Like first of all, I I got very happy. I didn't have any idea that he was running this uh, IoT Academy as well. I was just having the knowledge that he was running UCT, right. Unique Unwish Technologies. Correct. But when this idea of IoT, when I looked at the course curriculum of IoT Academy and the certification it was giving from IIT Guwahati, the right. Chennai Institute. I had some inclination towards it. Okay. But when I got through some of the sample videos, these starting these people have, you know, done with the, with, with each and every assignment, with each and every chapter, even a starter who knows nothing about coding, it is so helpful for him, you know, to get started in the course. Because AI and ML itself, actually, uh, they are big terms. Right. You know, they sound big terms because statistics, a lot of statistics, a lot right. of, you know, libraries, a lot of uh, deep learning, a lot of neural network. Right. But right from the scratch, they, these people are taking up the course. So that right. is very wonderful. Like the, the structure of the course is excellent. 
correct you know they, they start with the python basics very yeah. basics of python yeah even from the pr- print command they have started yeah. how to print simple hello world hello world they started right. from that place yes right and then then we are working on cbon libraries we are working on matplotlib libraries mm-hmm. we are working on pandas yeah we are we have finished with numpy arrays believe me it has gone so interesting that 6 to 7 hours of time mm-hmm. of three day mm-hmm. i utilize in coding now because we see to see uh, uh, so many different visual representations of the data which we had not seen in the past because different angles of data from where you can you know deliver your thoughts you, you can deliver your facts and the curation well, is excellent right well uh, 100 upon 100 marks to iot academy in delivering such sort of certification to the people And, and people starting from any age, like from even from my age, can start as a fresher. Right, sir. Yeah, IOT so Academy. Done, that is, though, yeah. Though, 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 uh, though, I had done many certifications as well. Yeah. Uh, in nineteen, in ninety nine, in two thousand, I had done Microsoft certifications and Cisco certifications and Java certification. Mm-hmm. But that was way back. Right. Now it's a different story because because Python is developed into current years now. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. a different story. That Python is so powerful. you know that ai and uh, this ml integrates so smoothly in this language right so also we are like uh, i would like to tell that we are glad to have learners like you who have the zeal and the dedication to study a course or to basically start up everything from scratch to learn a new thing so yeah there is one side that iot academy has helped you but also the people like you are the ones who are like uh, what you can say an uh, uh, idol or uh, you can say a person who is basically telling everyone motivating everyone that there is no age and you can learn at any time at any given point so so uh, what my next question to you is that from your experience which what i would like to know that there are many things in today's world which we have seen that students have gain access to the technology very quickly like in the class of 6th right. or 5th the students are having mobiles in their hand and at that time we didn't even know like how to operate a mobile and today they are coding so what yes. i would like to know is that is that a boon or a bane from your point of view and why if boon why well, it's why well i think it's both okay. so boon as well as a bane like i am experienced with my child also <laughs> class 12 <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> because many of the applications which you know mobile or internet has given to the world perfectly a boon actually but at the same time the misuse of the technology exactly it's a bane it's, it's, it's a big bane you know exactly now for example late, lately this chat gpt from open ai yeah. has come up yeah so like many countries are like thinking of creating uh, a... giving it permission of giving it permission or not because it will fail it will fail uh, very much If we give it to the students because everything is on exactly the, you know, they just have to put the touch question of the and fingers give you the answers that's it so where is the creativity in the school right excellent but at the same time it is so helpful for the business for example if i want to start my company mm-hmm. so what are the you know what are what am i looking into the company you just yeah. type i want to start an ai and ml company it will give me a different answer it will give you a different answer Hmm. So that is the power of you know that is the power of ML and AI. If I say just give the uh, tagline for my car, so the information it is giving to me and to you is entirely different. It's based on the amount of data it is capturing, right? And the algorithms which which are running in the back backend. So, sir, if you would like to give a message to younger version of yourself right now, what would be that message? Well, I would say this. never a perfect time to start hmm. you can start anything at any age even i say i tell my mother that you start any course in cooking because learning makes you young and keeps you young it's very important to learn be a student do assignments and then apply it into your respective fields right that is very important but learning is very important now for the students the opportunities in ai and ml are vast and immense see again i'm telling you there is a law of diffusion of innovations when when a new innovation comes up mm-hmm. a new technology comes up 
Mm-hmm. So there is a certain sort of pattern, a graph in that. Yeah. What is that? I'll tell you that they are first of all two point five five percent of the people are innovators. Like then second stage is early adopters. Early right. adopters are around thirteen point five percent who adopt the technology very early. Then there is a chaos or there is a or there is a gap in the majority adoption of the technology. Now what? I'll reiterate that it started with the governments and universities. It was just sixteen percent of the people who were using it. Then it leaped forward and jumped the chasm, and it it was majorly adapted by everyone. Mm-hmm. Now even the laggards are using it. Sixteen percent of the people who did not want to use internet mm-hmm. are even using it because they are forced to do so. They have nothing left. Everything is for AI and ML now. It has actually on the verge, on the brink of you know, uh, jumping off the chasm. It is already early adopted by major players of the industry. Now the chasm has been jumped over, and slowly, the people are trying to use it or integrate it in their automation process. Right. Normal businesses. Right. So the opportunities are immense, immense, and immense, and many intellectuals don't. Want to say this word, but I will say that just wait, just couple of years, one or two years, and see the magic happen of AI and AI. So I'm so positive about this field. And coming again, it will be long. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. So please continue. Yes, yes. So yeah, so coming. No, it will actually use, get very long. Obviously, yeah. it's, it's obviously a thing that every individual should obviously think about. That if it is coming out from a person like you, so obviously they should think about it. That. what opportunities and what new era will it open or what new door will it open so that is all sir what i wanted to ask so before uh, sir ending the meet so we would like if you would just play some piece on your guitar oh. <laughs> that will be oh sure 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 that sure that will sure. be uh, great for us sir all right all right yeah yeah so this is my guitar yes sir. and again this passion i have completely learned from technology <laughs> from youtube that's it ek ajnabi hasina se yu mila tha ho gayi phir kya hua ये ना पूछो कुछ ऐसी बात हो गई वो अचानक आ गई जो नजर के सामने कैसे निकल आया से शहर पे जुल्फे बिखरी हुई थी दिन मेरा हो गई एक अजनबी हसीना से यू मोला था हो गई सो थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर बीइंग सच अ स्पोर्ट एंड फॉर शेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम एंड वैल्यूएबल एक्सपीरियंस टू एवरीवन to have uh, to even the audience an audience i would just like to tell you that sir is sitting here who had been dropped from iit bombay due to his personal reasons anyone who have who might have been in this position might have gone depressed or demotivated but just take an example from shalin sir and just see that from where to where he is right now and what he wants to more and what he wants to learn more in his life and so much he is motivated so that is that is one message i would like to give to the, all the audience who is uh, watching this podcast and thank you so much sir for joining us today uh, we are glad we are sincerely glad that you have joined us and we would love love to uh, connect sometime in person also and would love to discuss further thank you so much sir for joining thank us today thank you thank you it was you. a pleasure thank you very take much take care sir take care thank so you much. thank you